we sit down. I know we've, we've talked on the phone and we've talked in person at great length. And I know your concerns and I know that particularly they happen to deal with the colas and all. But I just have to say on this overall package, if we can't pass that with a Republican Senate, now I don't care who goes where with it, trying then to amend it afterward, but if we can't pass that, I think it was said by someone already today, then Bob Bird's back running the Senate. And we've proven that we can't govern. Now here we are, 50 years, but we've only had the Senate for these few years that we've been here. And if you go back 28 years, why well, we had it a couple of, uh, a couple of years, and that's all. And uh, if we ever want to get back in the legislature, which is really where the engine is, and I think we've got to start proving that we belong there. And I just, I think the whole COLA situation is so wide open, and as I told Paula, it's so misunderstood, and she found out that about half her people uh, decided in her poll was misunderstood. But most of the people out there don't know that the 2% is plus anything above 4% inflation. They also don't know that if it drops below 3%, there is nothing. In the present law. Yeah. Huh? Sure. Now that's under the present law. And we found out in our own poll, Dick Worthland's poll, that when the people getting the Social Security found out, then they chose 64% uh, to 33%. They chose the 222. Because it's a, it's a guarantee where the other isn't. Now for 12 months we've had an inflation rate of 